This is my FPV 250. I've been flying this with the Tyrannus and my Fat Shark HD goggles, and I've been using this LT200 Eachine uh, video transmitter. This is a 200 milliwatt transmitter, and it outputs 5 volts to a uh, separate camera that's actually included in the package. Well, today I decided that I needed to try the 600 milliwatt version. And here it is. It's actually called the ET600, where the other one's called the LT200. Now, I'll go ahead and get some measurements off of these in a second, but just to give you a quick rundown. Basically, if you have this LT200, you're running, you're running a pretty good signal. This thing pushes through trees pretty easily. It pushes around obstacles. It can fly over houses pretty well. The difference is with this ET600, it just does it all a little better. It's not like night and day difference, but sometimes if you're used to flying a particular area and you uh, are used to losing signal in a certain place, well this is going to uh, take that out and you won't have quite a bit of a signal loss with this one. So here they are side by side, the 200 and the 600. And you'll notice that there's just a little bit more, especially right up here, on the 600 than what the 200 doesn't have. Now they both have a button on the side to help you switch your uh, channels quickly at the flying field, which I have found to be very nice, especially if you're flying with other people. If you're not flying with other people, having a button to change is not really that big of a deal. But also down here on the bottom, you can see they both have the LEDs that uh, help you figure out what channel you're actually broadcasting on so you're not just guessing or counting channels on your Fat Shark goggles. They, uh, the big difference between these that I've noticed is, you know, well, besides the wattage, is that this one, the LT200, has the cables coming out the side, so that makes it easier to route back into your quadcopter, whereas the 600 has them coming out the bottom. And it's not that big of a deal, because even on this FPV250 where the space is limited, there's still plenty of space to move this, uh, to route these cables up to the front of the quadcopter. So we'll go ahead and get some weights off of both of these, just for comparison. The LT200 comes in at 6.6 .6 grams and the ET600 comes in at 7.9 grams. So there is a little bit more weight to the ET600. Let's go ahead and get some measurements off this so you can see if it'll actually fit in your quadcopter. This one comes in at 29 tall, 29.63 tall, and that's up to here. So if you want to actually measure up to the top of the antenna holder here, it would come in at 30.76. So the width on this comes in at 20.21 so not too bad on the width size and let's see the depth of this comes in at about 6.27 6.28 depending on how hard I push with my thumb both of these come with the RP SMA adapter on the top you might be able to order it special if you wanted just the RPA but this is the same style that I believe the Fat Shark uses so a lot of your Fat Shark antennas should be compatible with this one so this has just been a quick overview of the ET600. If you're debating about this one or the LT200, well, if you're going to be flying by yourself, you know, either one's a good choice. If you're going to be flying competition, you might want to look at the at the LT200 just because it uh, there's going to be regulations on how strong your video signal can be. If you're flying with your friends, get the uh, get the ET600. This will be fine, and you'll also you'll uh, also have a lot worse chance of losing your signal, and you'll have a lot better time flying. Anyway, if you have any questions about this ET600, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.